This episode of The Modern Rogue brought to you by Privacy.com. Go to Privacy.com forward slash rogue or click on the link in the description below. Protect yourself when you're buying stuff online and even better is a special treat. 10 randomly selected people will get their first purchase rebated from Privacy.com. That's Privacy.com slash rogue. Have you ever found just like a credit card laying around? Dude, okay, first of all, I, yeah, uh, uh, sorry, no. I thought you were getting defensive, <laughs> like, dude, okay, first of all, I thought it was mine. Credit card skimmers. If you were to put a dollar figure on it and guess how much credit card fraud happens globally per year, what would you say? I assume you mean fraudulent purchases, people stealing your credit card, punching it in? The whole thing. So it seems like, what, we're up to seven, eight billion people on the planet. It seems like one to two billion of them have credit cards. It seems like $5 a year is a reasonable number. So five billion. I'll say five billion. As of 2016, $26 billion. What? But it is a 12% increase from 2015. You know what? I bet that's the actual amount paid out because I'm sure a bunch of people have tried insane fraudulent charges of $1,000 here or there that get declined. But you were saying something about like just little microtransactions. Yeah, okay. So here's what I've heard, and, and again, this is all hearsay, but think about it. Uh, there are online forums where you could buy banks of credit cards, and a lot of them, some of them are, are fresh and, and ripe, and others are old and stale, and you pretty much get what you pay for in these underground forums. The thinking is, if you get a bunch of fresh, ripe cards, the thing you don't want to do is make insane one-time transactions for $100 to $500, because in those cases, those guys are going to, uh, they're, they're going to spot it, and it's going to get shut down really quick. If you can set up kind of a long-term bleed where you take out a little bit for a monthly subscription to some faux thing. For example, the time I noticed a fraudulent transaction was for some kind of health Asahi berry, I don't know, some kind of vitamin thing. Am I even saying that right? Asahi? Asahi. I have no idea. Is it A-C-A-I? Yeah, but it's that weird C with the S on it. C's shouldn't have S's on them. Okay, that's that's true. But my point is, is you keep them alive for a longer amount of time. Now, another version, if you buy a bank of bad credit cards, what you could do is you can actually mint your own version of the card. You actually create the magnetic strip with all the information on it that you bought. Then you go wear a fake mustache and look like a different person. Call yourself but, Ryan Rushwood. That's right. Go buy, buy a TV at Best Buy, and then that's a good $500 payout. Yeah, and after that, it will probably get dinged. But if you're just using it to like buy coffee, maybe uh, a meal at a restaurant or something like that, not all the time, but bit by bit, yep. that greatly lowers the chances that you're going to get caught because People use their cards every day. Yeah, well, and think about it. Of all the times you use your credit card, think about how often it's over the phone to somebody you're not seeing that you just have to trust that they're only entering it in that one system or to a, a waiter who takes it back and then comes back with a bill. There are people who are afraid to even enter their credit card information on any website because they perceive it as not secure. Keep in mind that if it's on a website, it's gonna, if you see that HTTPS, that S means it's encrypted and secure, which means, by the way, when you call someone on the phone and you give them your credit card, all they're doing is entering it into the internet. So if you're <laughs> exactly. grandma and you're afraid of entering a credit card into the internet, then you're dumb. I'm sorry, sorry grandma. Uh, <laughs> but the real reason you shouldn't have any fear is because your liability is so limited. In theory, if the whole world had your credit card number, you would have virtually no liability for anything somebody did without your permission. Now, of course, you're gonna have to check with your bank, right? Yes, every bank is gonna be a little bit different, but all of them are going to be in the United States subject to the Electronic Funds Transfer Act, the EFTA, which places certain amounts of limits to your liability. For example, if you lose your credit card or your ATM card and you report it to the bank before it gets used, your liability is zero, no matter what happens from that point forward. If you report your card stolen in the first 48 hours, your liability is limited to $50, and many banks will waive that $50 charge. Beyond that, you have up to 60 days to report it, at which point your liability is still limited to $500, and after 60 days, you're a little bit screwed. If you don't report that your card got stolen, and it's more than 60 days, pretty much everything on there, you're on the hook for. And that's just what they're legally required to do in the United States. The bank probably wants to go above and beyond that. Yeah, if you have a long-running relationship with the bank, it is astonishing what they will let you slide on. Not only will they probably write that stuff off, but have you ever had a late fee? Uh, you realize like most credit cards, in my experience, you get one free coupon per year to just call up and say like, sorry, this was late because reasons. Can you forgive it? And 
he'll go, sure, whatever. You get, uh, have you ever done that? No, I haven't. Dude, uh, I, I, I try not to take advantage of people and their, their generosity. <laughs> no, it's, it's not, it's them taking advantage of you. <laughs> That's true. All right, so what are the different ways people could get your credit or debit card information? I'm just gonna think of some of them because there are so many sure. ways, right? Uh, I, I guess databases where poorly protected. Yeah, you can hack into that. Keystroke loggers. <sighs> I don't like thinking about that. That's yeah. dark. Yeah. Uh, skimmers, just the little devices that you put on an ATM or a gas pump or something like that. Now, we did a segment on this on hacking the system where we basically said it could be in any part of town, any situation that you're sticking your card in a thing. If it looks like there's a facade in front of it, if it looks like there's something that conceivably could be attached over the actual thing, try to kind of bang it around, yeah. see if it detaches. It might be just a straight up skimmer, right? And they're really convincing and they literally take seconds to attach. I I saw a video the other day of some guys in a convenience store. They walked up and when the clerk had his back turned, they attached it to the point of sale device. And the good ones will not only gather the credit card information, but they'll actually have buttons that go over the other ATM buttons. So you insert the card, it registers that, you punch in the number, it registers that. Now they have real life access to your credit card or debit card information. Yeah, and then there's uh, RFID scanners and NFC scanners. People can just swipe the information from that without ever seeing the card. Okay, if I'm remembering correctly, RFID is basically a passive device that has to have something bounced off of it. But NFC, that's what you use on your phone, so that's actively powered, right? Yeah, there's even an app in the Google Play Store where you can get the card information by just tapping it to the back of your Android phone. Wow. Yeah, or you can use one of these. Okay, I have heard about these forever, but they've always seemed like an esoteric, out in the void kind of thing. This is a straight up skimmer. Yep, $50 on Amazon. What? Yes. If it's on Amazon, I have to believe that there's some kind of legitimate use for this. And if I'm being generous, I'm gonna say that there are people who don't have a Square account or a PayPal account. You're working at a flea market, and rather than write down a credit card, you just wanna swipe it. You trust that it's gonna be worth something later. It's not a bad card. And then this stores it? Right, or any type of magnetized card. You can swipe it and get the information. Like if you have your employees clocking in, they just swipe the card. Oh, wow. Okay, Oh, so, so this, this has like a time stamp? How does this work? How does this work? It's really easy. It just comes with the software, the device, and a USB cable. Give me your credit card. <laughs> really? Oh, you know what? I guess I can find out what information is on all my other magnetic yeah. cards. Yeah. Oh, oh, sweet. Let me do my frequent Parker card. We're just gonna turn it on. Now everybody's gonna know Brian parks cars for a living. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna swipe it, plug it in. Okay. Now we go to upload and it's gonna pull the information off of there. See, that's all the information that's on there. So, so there's not, not much on there. Oh, this is amazing though. Uh, okay, so apparently all that's on here is my frequent Parker number mm -hmm. and that's it. Okay, let's try, I'm gonna try my credit card. How many of these can it store? a lot. You gotta imagine that it's just binary information. Right? Yeah. <gasps> yeah. Yeah. That's my name and that's my credit card info. That's a bunch of extra information. It's scary. Yep, that's your credit card number. And uh, when I used my debit card on there, yeah. it had my address what? and everything. Oh, you know what? I wonder what's on my driver's license. Check it out. What do you think is gonna be on there? Uh, sex offender. <laughs> <God damn> it. <gasps> there yeah, it is. Dude. Straight up, there's my address. There's, oh, there's multiple tracks too. Oh, wow. What type of driver's license you have. Yeah, uh, and, and it's got my driver's license number. It's got my, my full address and zip code and all that yeah. stuff. I want to know what AAA has on me. Oh, is that, yeah, that's yeah, it. Yeah, that's the one right there. Okay, so that's just my AAA number, which strangely makes me feel better. Uh, dude, that is astonishing. And you know what's really scary? Yeah. You know how on Amazon where it says, customers who bought this also purchased. Yeah. It had that, an encoder, and a card cutter. <gasps> it was the full fraud package. Oh my God. So you get one of these, you swipe it, and then you clone it, and then you take it out to a Best Buy theoretically and use it. It runs you about $340. So I guess the lesson here is twofold. Number one, be terrified. There's a million ways to get your credit card information, but also don't be terrified. Your liability is limited to virtually nothing. Like if you see, the moment you see a fraudulent charge, you just report it and then you're off the hook. Oh, that's what you took away from it. I saw nothing but opportunity. <laughs> we have to get the card maker now, and then start being waiters. You wanna be waiters? We should do a segment on waiting. No. No, you didn't like it? Didn't go so well the last time. Yeah, you didn't get a good seat. I didn't. 
So given everything we learned, are you nervous about using your credit card? Absolutely. I don't even want to remove it from my lead-lined, hermetically sealed wallet. <laughs> See, I'm just worried about the hassle. It's like you read, you know, you hear like, oh, so-and-so got hacked into. It's like, oh, I shopped there once. Now I got to change credit cards and all that crap. I use it for everything and it catches up to me like, oh, now I have to re-enter it into this. Now I have to re-enter it into this. Not anymore. Our new sponsors at privacy.com. First of all, we're gonna go to privacy.com slash rogue and sign up. Here's the deal. They're like a VPN for credit cards. You get to decide exactly how much protection you want. You can create burner credit cards, one-time uses, and then when this stuff gets spent on them, the charges can either show up as what actually was bought to help you with your taxes or whatever. Or let's say you're like, man, I'm going to the, the such and such store and I don't want you to know I was at the such and such store. I go to the such and such <laughs> store a lot, Brian. I get a lot of such and such. And so then it just shows up as a privacy.com purchase on there. So it keeps things discreet when discretion is warranted. So it, like you said, it's like a burner phone, but for your credit card. Exactly. Let's say you're at a shady place and you're like, this is not a secure environment. So you can generate a new number specifically for that shady place to buy your such and such. Correct. And then when you find out that shady place that has such and such got caught Compromise, you can say like, Psh, well, I know which one to delete. And it just generates an actual virtual credit card for you for whatever you need. That's right, and it's a total seamless experience from desktop, from browser to mobile. Uh, their goal is to make everything as elegant and as simple as possible. And get this, a few lucky people will have their first purchase rebated by privacy.com. They're randomly selected, so you want to sign up and then you just buy something real expensive. You never know, you might get lucky. Okay, sh show me how it works. Okay. How complicated is it? <laughs> Dude, it's so simple. First of all, we need credit because they're sponsoring us, so we're gonna go to privacy.com slash rogue. That's R-O-G-U-E, and sign up for free. That looks easy enough. And then I'm gonna, <laughs> right here on the show, give my credit card info. I love the fact that it says, apprehensive, you're right to be. <laughs> <laughs> Install the privacy Google Chrome extension. All right, well, this is making it even easier. Okay, so let's make a burner card. Yeah, go to the such and such store, gonna oh, get some. And they actually call it a burner yeah, card. Yeah, yeah. Okay, what's something that I would be too embarrassed to have anyone know that I was buying? Um, uh, a, a, a Britney uh, Spears album. Adult men's Sailor Moon costume. <laughs> yeah, but I don't need that. You know what, let's go to AliExpress.com. All right, here we go. <laughs> How let's did you know do... what this was exactly? Uh, oh my God, uh, let's do Kim. Kardashian. Let's add lasers. I'm not judging, but I am curious. <laughs> What's happening? I don't right know. Now? I'm just gonna find the weirdest thing. Let's add cats. Uh, okay, there it is. Sure. Yeah. Uh, what is this? 360 degree dart laser light experience. Now that just sounds like fun for the whole family, not just the cat. Gigantic head lettuce. <laughs> I'm gonna order a gigantic head of lettuce. AliExpress, what don't you have? Uh, is that actual lettuce or do you have a picture of lettuce? It's, it's, it's seeds, it's seed packets. I grow to giant lettuce. I'm gonna type in North Korea. Oh boy. <laughs> uh, oh, you wanna buy some North Korean money? That's kinda cool. That is kinda cool. Maybe a life-size cardboard cutout of Corey Feldman? Ali Pop, K-pop, Korean, the queen's back. <laughs> I don't know what any of this means. Uh, how about uh, something like uh, kittens howling at the moon or something like that? Oh, there that. you go. Kitten explosion taco. Sure, yeah. Let's Those see. are. Aha! There it is! I approve, but you gotta get one for me too. <laughs> All right, we're getting one for each of us. We gotta wear it. But use the burner card so uh, that yeah. <laughs> no one ever finds out. And we will wear it in our next privacy.com ad. There we go. <laughs> See, I can do this with confidence now because I got a burger. You, are you a medium? You're medium. a medium. Two mediums, please. Sure. Select payment. There we go. Look at this. Fill in the card number. Check out with privacy. Done. Yes. There we go. Use it. No problem. Yes, please. That's plenty. I could just do single use. Yeah. A true burner. And so questionable outlets will never have your actual information. That's right. That's, That's right. Fantastic. Rushwood. Classic Ryan. <laughs> That's it. Confirm and pay. That's really simple. Now think about all the such and such stories you can go to. Oh man, I'm gonna buy so much such and such. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> Under the cover of privacy.com. <laughs> all right, so it's privacy.com slash rogue. That's R-O-G-U-E. And don't forget that some lucky people are gonna have their very first purchase, maybe ours. Maybe that one hey, will get rebated. And we'll kind of wasted it. Taco Cat shirt. <laughs> oh man, I'm so excited. This is gonna be great. <laughs>